Hi, in this video we're going to have a look at Microsoft Teams and Breakout Rooms. Now this is a brand new feature inside of Teams and what it allows you to do is separate up your main meeting into smaller breakout room meetings for either students or extra staff members. Now this offers some fantastic benefits for teachers as what it means is just like a normal classroom you may set off students into group work activities after your main delivery. What you can do in Microsoft Teams now is hold your own meeting and then set up your breakout rooms inside of that one meeting for students and a group of students to work collaboratively together on a project etc. So let's have a look now at how we can use breakout rooms inside of Microsoft Teams. I hope you find this video useful and if you do please remember to like and subscribe to Teach Brand. it really does help. Here you can see I'm in an online lesson with my students and what I want them to do is actually break out into smaller groups to do some work. So what I'm going to do is choose the breakout room option to start this process. The next thing I need to do is then choose how many rooms I actually want to create. Now I want them to work in pairs so I'm just going to create two rooms as there's four students in my online lesson. So here you can see I'm just going to choose room settings and choose how many rooms I'm after. I'm then going to leave automatic on and what this allows me to do is it automatically selects the students and puts them into a breakout room for me. As you can see now on the right hand side that's allocated the students to that room and I can also rename these rooms as well. So for example if you have uh, group names you are able to then assign a group name to this but you could also rename the rooms to a particular topic that you're wanting them to discuss. As you can see here, I'm just choosing group one and group two. You can also leave them as the default as well. If you decide you need extra rooms, you can also click the add room feature and that will allow you to add rooms on the fly. You can also rename these rooms as well and allocate students to these. I'm just gonna click on the three dots now and actually delete that room and you can also delete the other rooms in the same way. Once done and happy, click on the start button and this will start the lesson. And as you can see on the student view, this has then shown them that they are going to be joining in the breakout room. As you can see here, that student has now automatically joined that breakout room and left the main meeting. And you can see on the right hand side, the people that are on here. This also works on mobiles as well, so as you can see here, they're in the main meeting, but after I have selected the breakout room feature, this joins them automatically into that group. So this does work on mobiles as well as desktops, so students can use their mobile devices in breakout rooms. As you can see now, as the staff member, I can see all of my groups and I can see the students that are actually in those groups as well as if they're actually in the meeting and I can actually prompt them as well by clicking the three dots if they have not yet joined. As a staff member as well and the teacher, I can then click the three dots to join each individual breakout room and actually have a discussion with my students and see how they're getting on and check in on them. You'll see here as a student, they, uh, the staff member has been joined, that's me, and the, st the student can actually see the teacher has joined as well. And again, this also works on the mobile device, as you can see here. When you're in the meeting at the top, you'll also get all of the options you're used to, such as raising your hand, blurring your background, sharing your screen, and more. So breakout rooms are fully fledged meetings. If you click the return button, that will return either the student or yourself, depending on who clicked it, back to the main meeting. And you can also then rejoin the meetings as well on the fly. So this is really useful way of slip, switching back from the breakout room. I'm now gonna click return and I'm gonna return to my main meeting as the teacher. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make an announcement by clicking the three dots. And in here, I'm gonna make an announcement. And what this does is it sends an announcement to all of the students in the individual groups. So for example, you could be telling them that the meeting that you want in them to do, you want them to wrap up because you want them to join the main meeting. This comes up in the chat, as you can see on the right hand side on my student view. Once done, I can also close the individual meetings after I've done an announcement, or I can actually close them all. So I'm gonna click close all, and that will close all of the breakout rooms for my students and put them back into my main lesson.
As you can see here, the student will get a 10 second notification to say they're joining back to the main meeting. And this will then automatically join all of the students, as you can see here, back into my main meeting. On the three dots, you can also choose room settings and you can decide whether or not you want students to come back to the main meeting on their own. And that's a really useful feature because what it means they can come back and ask you questions. I'm now also going to now recreate my rooms and show you a new way. So you can recreate rooms anytime if you want to reallocate rooms. So here I'm going to reallocate my rooms, but this time I'm going to choose manual. Now what manual does is it allows you to, allows you to decide which students should go into which rooms. So here you can see I've got my assigned participants and I can then select the students that I want in each individual room by clicking at the side and then choosing the room and then assigning them. So here you can see I can actually have control of which students enter which group, just like you would do in a regular face-to-face -face lesson. For example, if you've, you've already got pre-allocated groups. Again, you can then start these meetings and the students will automatically be joined into those meetings after 10 seconds. Students can return to the main meeting as well to ask any questions, as you can see here. Then the student can go back into the main room. You'll see here that I've got a late student now. And what I can do is actually admit that late student and I can have a conversation with that student but what I can do then is actually select that late student and assign them a particular room after they have come back into the main lesson. Again, just like regular lessons. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to Teach Blend. It really does help. Thank you.